hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another tra uh, transfer video just before we get started if you do hear a bit of noise i do apologize but there is currently work done around the house but anyway it shouldn't bother you too much but anyway guys let's get straight into this video so guys you know what to do give us a little big crap if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so you can tell by the title that i'm going to do every player from one Premier league cup that i should sell uh, in the summer window, it's just a two around the corner. So the first player I've gone with, with obviously Arsenal, I'm going with alphabetical order, and I've gone with Bert Leno. Bert Leno. Bert Leno, to me, he is a brilliant keeper. You know, I think I'll estimate what he sort of geeker he is. He is quite a good keeper, in my perspective. Just falling short of Adam Ramsdale, who I did buy, I believe, uh, last summer, and he's a backup keeper for Ramsdale. I believe he's made his first Premier League appearance a couple of weeks ago if I remember but yeah I just burnt that over for me because I think he deserves first team keeper in my opinion anyway feel free to put your opinions down in the comments below Aston Villa Jake Ramsdale uh, Jacob Ramsdale sorry Jacob to me he did play at Wembley I believe when I went out there I have seen him play a few times for Villa this season obviously with the ongoing situation you know with all these great players coming through jake ramsey really fit that fit of philosophy he does seem to be doing it but i reckon steve and joe we might just go out and basically say i could probably get a better midfielder no disrespect to jacob ramsey whatsoever but i went with jacob ramsey for aston villa Brentford, Ivor Tony. Ivor Tony to me is one of these players that really has gone on and done really great things at Brentford. Is he going to start Brentford being the age of 26 though? I really don't think so. I really do think that maybe he that maybe should go to, I don't want to say a better club because Brentford have played quite well this season, but you know what I mean, maybe a bit of a higher level club. But as I said, Brentford have done brilliant this season. But I've gone with Ivor Tony for Brentford. Brighton, my club, Yaz Bazuma. Now, I'm going to have a big opinion on this. Because Yaz Bazuma, to me, has really dropped since the last window's closed. Uh, you know, I think he's had one great game for Brighton since the window's closed. In my opinion, it's going to be... A really hard transfer window for Brighton to keep Yaz Bazuma anyway. You can see he wants to move when you go watch him play. He don't look interested now. Surely that's going to drop his price for the higher clubs to come in. Had Brighton missed a great opportunity to sell him earlier, I possibly think so because, as I said, he hasn't really been on form. I'm hoping that changes, obviously, but yeah, I've gone with Yaz Bazuma just on them. Uh, opinions and you know as I said can I put your opinion down in the comments below Burnley Will Norris Will Norris for me he's a young keeper I think he's third choice keeper for Burnley at the minute now there is a good chance for Burnley to go down you know if fighting that relegation scrap if Burnley go down he might be worth a keeper to keep and maybe play him a bit more but if they don't then I think Burnley may look just for that, that bit of experience goalkeeper. So it's going to be a really interesting summer for Will Norris. But if I was Burnley, I'd probably let him go and try and find his uh, career somewhere else. Chelsea, I went with Conor Gallagher. Now, Conor Gallagher did play when I went to watch England play. Literally a couple of days ago, you can catch the vlog on this channel. And... Now this hurts because obviously he's on loan to Crystal Palace at the minute and you know he's doing very well. Um, but I think he's a great midfielder. Um, now as I said it does hurt because obviously he's currently on loan to Palace. Palace have made him shine um, as far as I'm concerned. You know, he's got non-stop England call-ups he's been at Palace. I think this is his second call-up in a row. Don't quote me on that. But really really interesting uh, season for Conor Gallagher. If Chelsea are not going to use him, surely he could go find football somewhere else. But as I said, he's so talented, uh, midfielder. Maybe worth Chelsea cashing in on him, and maybe he'd start to find his career 
somewhere else. But as I said, I wouldn't mind him at Brighton. I know some Brighton fans will shoot me down for saying that. But he is one of them brilliant midfielders who I do think has got a bright future in the game. Crystal Palace. Now, I went with Martin Kelly. Martin Kelly, I think he's the age of 31. I, ain't, I don't think he's played for Palace this season. Maybe Palace to cash in on him or just then run out of contract. I think he's out of contract earlier, uh, later this year. So maybe this will be a big time for Palace to say no further contract for Martin Kelly. I can't see Palace in offering one. As I said, I don't think he's made an appearance this season for Palace. But, you know, maybe... Maybe it's time for him to go somewhere else. I'll call it a day. Obviously, it's down to the player and the club themselves. But I think Martin Kelly, maybe it's time to move on. Dominic calvin Lowy for Everton. Now, Dominic calvin Lowy has had a lot of rumours around with the likes of, you know, where he's going, where we could be off to. Everton are currently 17th in the Premier League table, I do believe. I really do think that maybe he deserves a higher quality club i'm not saying everton are not high quality i just said they've had a really poor season rafael benitez they want their owners out and i do think dominic calvin Lewin maybe could do some damage maybe somewhere like man united where they're struggling for goals but as i said i went with dominic calvin Lewin for everton purely just on the fact you know he has been rumored and it would be good move for him to go to maybe a bigger club Leagues United, Rafinha. Rafinha has been rumoured, I do believe, to leave Leagues. Uh, Leagues have maybe, I don't think they've quite survived yet, but maybe they will just push through. Rafinha, I think he gets 50 million if they stay up, and 25 million from Leagues if they go down. So that's a big paycheck for Rafinha. Especially if Leagues go down, it will be a big um, you know, a big move for him to actually go somewhere else. I think, yet again, maybe somewhere like, I don't know, where we're fitting to, because he is, I think he's a second striker. I, I think he could play centre midfield as well, as I said, please don't quote me on that. Uh, but he could really do some damage in the Premier League, maybe somewhere like Leicester, which is our next club. So Leicester, I've gone with James Madison. James Madison, for me, really has gone to different levels this season in the year 2020 squad he i don't think he's made the England call up this time around but you know surely he could fit in somewhere like liverpool or chelsea or you know maybe arsenal maybe united because uh man united there's no big secret that they have been struggling this season so i went with james madison for leicester david uh or Wingy, I'm not going to try and pronounce his first time, I'm just trying to just realise I've got it horribly wrong, I do apologise. Uh, on a Wingy, has made a great start in the, the Liverpool team, you know, maybe he deserves a bit more first team football, but, you know, it's going to have to wait and see, to see, but all Wingy may be a big cash prize for a club, like, I don't know, I'm just going to say it again, Man United, surely do a bit of a Job down there. Manchester City, I saw this player play at Southampton and that yet again you can catch the vlog on this channel. I went with Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling has gone to a number two spot if you want to call it that. You know, he done the likes of now now we I got Jack Greenish in which was a hundred million pound move. Surely maybe Raheem could go somewhere else and play a bit more first team football and it'd be a big cash cash in for Man City not just over you know I'm sure I get a profit for him because he has turned into a really good uh, talented player as I said I did see him at Southampton I've seen him quite a few times I think he played well I think he did play when I, I went to the England game but you know a really good uh, young Englishman there surely Man City could do a big cash in point there and both parties will be happy with the player and with the money. Manchester United, I went with Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford for me, on a matter of reasons. One, he's not playing enough in my expectation. He's been left out of the current English squad. He looks furious when he's playing. His body language don't look quite right. 
is Marcus Rashford trying to edge a move out? Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. But it's going to be one of them interesting games where, or one of them interesting things where Man United do cash in and who's Man United's and the manager as well. Newcastle, I went with Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale, for me, for Newcastle, really has, you know, had a great career at Newcastle. Obviously, ex Palace fan. I think, I think Newcastle got him from Palace as well. But, you know, he's had one of these things where, you know, maybe it's time for him to move on. Maybe Championship level would be his level now. Uh, I, think he's, I think he's in his early 30s as well. As I said, please don't quote me on that. But it's going to be a really interesting time for Newcastle, especially if they cash in now with all this money they got. Will they sell him? I think both clubs and both parties will be happy with the transfer going through on Dwight Gale's side and obviously the club side. Norwich. I went with Max Aries. I don't know a lot about Norwich and I ain't going to lie. I think Max, uh, Max Aries, he's the early age of 22 as well. Maybe Norwich... Maybe still going down, obviously that's still yet to be decided. Surely he's made 28 appearances. I think the Premier League's pushed him on 30 odd games now as well. So he has missed the um, game here and there. Surely um, a young player like that, a young Englishman as well. Surely if he gets up to, I don't know, I, I ain't going to say a big club because I don't think he'd be quite up there yet, but... Maybe somewhere like, um, whether it's maybe somewhere like Leicester, you know, might might be a big jump for him, and maybe he maybe just be able to creep into our England uh, senior squad. But hey ho, you know, let's see what happens there. Southampton, I went with Shane Long. Now I've seen Southampton play twice this season already. Uh, one was against Coventry in the FA Cup, and the other game was obviously across City. And as I said, you can catch both of them on this channel. Now with the football vlog playlist, which is circular about my channel. And if I remember, I will drop it down in the description. Shane Long for me, because, you know, he's out of contract at the end of the summer. Surely Southampton are going to be looking elsewhere for a striker. I ain't going to say he has not done uh, terrific things for Southampton. You know, he's been at Southampton. I can't remember actually how long he's been there for. But, you know, maybe he can do somewhere, maybe somewhere like Brighton, who I still think need a striker. I think he's the early age of 31. So maybe he's still got two or three years left in his legs. But I still have to not going to be looking at Shane Long for a future general, you know, general uh, race and play. Or we got to sell him and go, you know what, we've had a good time together. It's time for you to move on. As I said, he is out of contract that this summer. So I do believe he, yes, he will actually, while well, I'm thinking about it, he will be on a free transfer, surely Southampton, unless they're going to send his contract in the next, how long we got left? To, three months. I can't see him staying at Southampton. So, you know, maybe it's time for Shane Long to leave and, you know, probably best for both parties there. Got them hot spurs or spurs. I went with Stephen Benjuina. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Just apologies if I'm not. Benjuina for me. Brilliant young winger. I've seen him play one or two mostly times. Uh, actually, I think I've seen him more than that playing the Tottenham shirt. Is Conte going to keep Benjuina though in the Tottenham squad? Surely if they're going to be looking for the top four. No disrespect to Benjuina. But maybe it's time for him to move on. Maybe somewhere, I don't know, maybe maybe somewhere like Brentford or Brighton or, you know, Leeds. You know, he could actually make a real name for himself, I do believe. I do believe he has got a calibre. But just in that Tottenham squad, it's so hard to get in. And, you know, maybe it's time for both parties to make a good move there for Ben Trino as well. Watford, I went with Josh King. Now, I know the picture's popping up on screen. There's none in the Watford shirt. Trust me, I tried and I couldn't find any. Josh King for me, he's the early age, I believe of 31 as well. He really does, you know, have some great calibers about him. He hasn't been the same for me though since he's left Bournemouth back. I'm not sure if it, I think it's last time he left Bournemouth just after I got relegated or someone before. But anyway, Josh King for me for Watford, 
just in the fact I don't really see them playing that much. Unless they go down, then they may be worth a keep. We'd have to keep an eye out for that one. West Ham, I went with Marco Antonio. Now, I could have went with loads of players with West Ham. Now, with some of these clubs, I did have a big choice to make. And why did I put these players out there? I went with Antonio because he's the age of 32 and no disrespect to Antonio. Surely if you're West Ham and you're looking into that top four, maybe top six, maybe Europa League again next season, who West Ham are still in there, by the way, playing the semi-finals uh, in a couple of, uh, I think it's next week they play. And, you know, being in the semi-final against Slovenia, I believe as well, great crowd by uh, West Ham. In the last round, you know, but surely let's get back to his chance because I can speak about West Ham all, all day in their best season, and we will be doing that when we f review my Premier League table at the end of the season. But Marco Antonio, surely because just his age, surely they're going to want to move on, and I reckon Antonio may be able to do some bit of damage somewhere else. But it's got to be an interesting uh, thing to see there. The last one is Wolverhampton Wanderers. I went with John Ruddy purely because, purely the fact he's out of contract at the summer. I think he's like the 33 34. I think he's the second backup keeper for Wolverhampton this season. But surely he will be, you know, let go at the, at the summer. And surely Wolverhampton will find a fair keeper somewhere else. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Big crap from what you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.